Have y'all ever personally like had a guy that you would say was like that alpha figure? I guess. No. No. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I feel one. like I everybody, yeah, yeah, every girl has been digmatized by one Absolutely, alpha before. Absolutely, I'm digmatized. Yeah. You'll learn what a long dick look like today. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I also believe, though, like this is another thing for female dating strategy. Y'all would also, if he's a valuable guy, have to accept that he's maybe spinning plates, which is where he has multiple girls right yeah. then. And the only, and you have to accept that he might be having sex with other girls while he, but yeah, once you give it to him, you can say we're exclusive now. But if yeah. you want that alpha guy or the guy that's getting all the girls, sometimes you have to accept he's fucking other girls for the that's, four that's weeks that y'all totally are doing fine. it. That's yeah. totally fine. We're not together. And that's yeah. fine. That's, and, that, and that's you fine. Do that. you that's that. fine. That's totally fine. That's, and that's, fine. Then you're together. in a great position if you can have that mentality for, oh, yeah. for, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But, but, but I just want you to know, though, the, the, the dating strategies are different, though. So, like yeah. like I said, for me, I know a girl is very down for me. Now, don't get me wrong. If the girl did the jump hug, if she did a bunch of stuff to let me know that, you know, she's making me jump through some hoops, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Like, she really is down for me, you know? Yeah, no, then I'm I would sure maybe jump through know. the hoops. But for, for the sure most part, know. I want a girl that's crazy for me, that's really down for me, because that means that she's going to fucking really take me up to the next level if i because for a guy bro for us to go up to the next level it's not always based off ourself and everything it's based off of how confident you are and your confidence sometimes is a direct tie to your woman or whoever's by your side encouraging you so you said encouragement not sex so the only way the woman can show she's crazy sex, for you is sex, sex? sex is a huge encouragement it's i cannot huge, trust that, you how much that, it is but, the, a huge, but there's other things that can still happen like i said oh, to yeah. make it known that I desire you, I'm encouraging you, I'm speaking life into you, yeah. I'm trying to help you. We we going up. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Want if y'all do those sure things, you can do it. I love you and I don't lust after you. That's yeah. my main thing. Yeah, I just I just love to bring up the contradiction of like the first because a lot of women have had first time uh, first night stands and then they try to make guys wait later on in the future and I just think it's unfair. Now don't get me wrong, you could do it all day, but I just think it's unfair. No, I agree with you. It's unfair if you haven't changed nothing. Yeah. So yeah. what type of you're, you're you're you have the same value as the one night stand woman. So why is he still waiting when you have still have the same value as the one night stand? You haven't changed anything. You haven't healed anything. You're not offering anything more. Yeah. So I agree with you there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, like it, it all goes back to once again, the body count thing. Guys really care. OK, mm -hmm. like we really do. Like we just give a fuck a lot about sex. So we really give a fuck about that. Your, pussy. We want our pussy. Your version <laughs> of a high body count in your opinion. Yeah. So if we look at statistics the way then this is what everybody else looks at in this space, like it's after literally after one, it goes down to 80 percent marriage or marriage happiness. OK, so two virgins again together, they have 80 yeah. percent chance of being happy in marriage. Um, after that, at, at five, it goes down. It, it goes down to like 45 percent at five. And then at 10, um, it goes down to like 35 percent. And then by by the time we get to 20, it's like a 15 percent chance of happiness in marriage for women. Men, I think it's like 30 percent. So we're not exactly the same, like, but it is. It does affect men and women at the same time. I'm not going to sit here and say men can sleep around. It doesn't hurt them because it does affect men as well. But uh, yeah, if you want to be happy in your marriage, there's a very high chance that you're not going to be after 20 bodies. So, <laughs> but what so are 20, your... 20 is your number then? No, I would say, so I'm not like most guys out here. So because most guys out here can barely get girls or barely get sex, I do agree that like, say like a guy can only get 10 bodies in his life. Mm -hmm. He should probably be with a girl that has three to five because... A woman has more social skills than a man does. Men are good yeah. at creating. Men, men create things. Women create people. Okay. Yeah. Women are social. Men are, are logical. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like we're, we're two completely different things. When, when we look at it that way, like, oh shit, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Your account? I don't even remember. I don't know. I lost it. I'm too stunned. My bad, guys. <laughs> um, no, I can't. I got to go back to what I was first saying. I totally lost it when I read that comment. That's what happens every time I read no, one comment in my brain. And dude, it goes, I know, right? I break my own rules. Like, Donnie, what was I talking about? <laughs> body count? No, oh, no. I don't even remember. But yeah. Your personal body count limit. Oh, my yeah, personal body yeah. count limit. Okay. So, yeah. If, if we look at stats, you know, all that stuff matters. But for me personally, I don't fucking care as much as the guy who can only get 10 bodies because he needs to have a girl with less bodies. So, he has the social, like, hierarchy over her, I guess you could say. So, she respects him at a certain level. Um. Another thing is there's something called alpha widowed. So I think a girl can have 15, 20 bodies, but it's about how alpha widowed she is. Like you want to be the best alpha to her. Um, so like, say like that is 20 bodies. They were all five, seven guys that had four inch dicks. Oosh. And then like, and then, and then she meets me and I'm taller. I have a bigger dick, whatever it is, you know, it's like, okay, 
I'm her alpha now. Like, even though she had 20 of those dudes in her past, I'm clearly better than all of them. Yeah. So she's going to treat me a different way. But say, like, a woman has a five body count, but they're all NBA basketball players that are, like, 6'6", and, like, huge, muscly dudes or something like I don't want to compete with that. Yeah. Like, I would actually rather be with the girl with 20 bodies <laughs> and, and, like, and I'm her alpha than be with the woman who has five or six bodies, but they're fucking hardcore dudes, like, that I'm never going to be able to please her at, you know, or they made such an income or gave her such an experience that I can't replicate it. It's yeah. all, and, like, you can be alpha widowed in multiple categories. Like, say one guy was the best kisser. One guy gave the best dick. One guy gave you the best experience. One guy was the best talker. Like, there's a lot of different categories. And then once you've been with, say, 30 guys and 15 of them were exceptional in certain categories, shit, no guy can hit that. You see those girls that are, like, just stuck single or, like, you you definitely see this on TikTok all the time. Like, a woman crying about a guy that she misses a lot or something. That's called an alpha widow. Because she cannot get over how amazing that one guy was. And this happens all the time with really rich guys today. Because it's so easy for them to fucking get sex from certain girls if they have a good Instagram and shit like that. Next thing you know, this girl is digmatized like crazy. He took her to Dubai. He dicked her down the best. He did all this stuff. And then he drops her off. That girl's fucking lost. <laughs> She's never going to find anything like that, you know? So, like, alpha widowed is what I'm worried about. Like, I just want to have a girl that I know I'm her alpha. And don't get me wrong, it can definitely change. Like, a woman can get over old alpha and have a new one. Like, it's possible, but that's my thing that I'm worried about. It's less than the body count. I'm more worried about I just want to be your alpha. Okay. So, yeah. Have y'all ever personally, like, had a guy that you would say was, like, that alpha figure, I guess? No. No? <laughs> that's crazy. I, I feel one. like I everybody, yeah, yeah, every girl has been digmatized by one Absolutely, alpha before. Absolutely, I'm digmatized. Yeah. You'll learn what a long dick look like today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Well, it's, it was all lust. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it can be time. lust, but like the thing is, it's definitely hard to get over sometimes those, those people. Like you can say it's not love, but shit. Like uh, you, you release oxytocin, which is the love chemical in your brain when you have an orgasm. So There's like no one that I'm still thinking about today. Oh yeah, see I don't think so, it's that bad. Yeah. yeah and yeah. and it can definitely not be that bad for yeah. sure. Like there's a lot of women that get over alphas and they can go find a new one immediately. Like it's not that fucking hard. I think there's just certain women that's hard. Just like how there's certain women that are super hypergamous and there's some that aren't that much at all. Like they like my my, my stepmother or like certain people from my family and stuff 20 30 years ago women weren't as much of gold diggers you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but today because the disparity in income fucking people are broke as fuck the economy sucks like shit pe women are trying to get taken care of right now more than ever it's like i don't want to fucking jump into this workforce that's fucking hell i i agree i agree with them like i i truly think but so okay this is why i want to ask now would you lower your lifestyle for the no. perfect family Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you can have a family, you can have kids, y'all can have. You get to do one vacation a year, like perfect lifestyle like that. But you're not gonna live the same lifestyle as you're living right now. Maybe that means not going out to eat every week. Maybe it's only going out to eat once every. I'll give you an example for my own personal family. We only went out to eat for 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 birthdays. I have four sisters. We only went out for birthdays. Never went out to eat for any other occasion. That's but you lower your yeah, of course, I, financially beneficial. But a lot of people wouldn't want to accept lowering their lifestyle like that. A lot of people like going out every couple of weeks. A lot of people like um, going on expensive vacations. A lot of people like doing you know uh, buying the Gucci, buying all the nice stuff, having the nice house, having the nice car. Would you go down on all those things for a perfect family, having kids and a and husband? If it's my perfect family, of course. You That's my family. And we're going to say a guy can actually probably achieve this today with making 80, 90K by himself. And a woman could probably be a stay-at-home wife, make that 80, 90K, yeah. but it would be an average lifestyle. It's about could your memories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I absolutely would because I'm already a frugal person now. So I'm probably going to be more frugal than him. I'm already like, hey, we need to cut back. Hey, we got to invest <laughs> this. We got to save that. But it's always going to be towards a goal. Like yeah. I said, we're not just about to live on rice and beans for the rest of our lives. That's <laughs> not what we, we We live on rice and beans maybe for these next two years. We're going to grind this out. We're going to invest this. We got some assets. Now we on the move. Now we up. So it's it's never going to be just for the rest of our lives. Yeah. I don't think so. It's yeah. always a season. Yeah, it should always just be for a season. A season yeah. Especially if he's on his shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. If y'all play Build a Man with the wrong band, that season mm -hmm. might be eight no, years or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what oh, about yeah. you though? Man, having a baby changes everything. I would absolutely do it. That's a mini me. Like that's that's my world. Okay? Oh, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I definitely think that that, and I'm really happy y'all answered this because I've asked this on a lot of panels, and sometimes the ladies are like, I can't give up the lifestyle. I can't give up the fun, or mm. or like it's really the, it's just they're not ready for a relationship. Yeah, they're not. No, ready. They I, can't compromise. I, they're not I, ready for. I, have no compromise yeah. skills. Yeah. No, I I agree yeah. with y'all. It's just. I think that that's more and more people today because it's, I mean, it's the relationships for a single lifestyle. Let's ask yeah. that really quick. Which lifestyle would you really want? You know, like when you're seven, when you're 60 years old and you look back, do you want to look back and be proud of going on tons of vacations with your girls, having a lot of fun, you know, stuff like that and no family, or would you rather have the family, but you're going to miss out on all the fun with friends? Yeah. You can't choose one or the others. We're going to say that you have to choose one or we're going to say you have to choose one or the other. For me personally, family is everything. Family? So I would pick my family. What about you? I would definitely pick my family. Family? Yeah. I'm a legend. I need kids. You need yeah. kids, yeah. yeah. I just really believe that, like, when you're dying on your deathbed one yeah. day, I don't think anything's going to feel better than having a bunch of grandkids. Right. Or, yeah. like, having a family yeah. reunion and knowing that, like, if you're, like, an 80-year-old grandmother, that, like, there's, like, 40 grandchildren. <laughs> and that it was, like, a big little system that started off of you. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That shit's fucking crazy. I Like, I loved my family reunions as a kid. That shit was dope. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.